No, we're not eating Snicker bars today. I can tell you that. <laughs> Might get your attention though. <laughs> Hi, this is Leslie and you are joining Lunch with Leslie every day, every weekday, uh, noon Mountain Standard Time. Right here on Periscope, we are live and we talk about um, we talk about different kinds of uh, food hacks. We talk about being healthy. We talk about real food. We talk about the kitchen. Um, and if you go to my website, it's right here in the. Hi, welcome. It's right here on the in the title of this particular post. Go to kitchens.com. I'm getting a little bit smarter about Periscope as I go along and learning as I go along. And today I'm in my backyard. Um, I have a beautiful backyard. I'm very blessed with it. And I'm underneath this. Yes, thank you. Go to kitchens.com. Hey, church girl. Uh, you girl, you cracked me up yesterday with your <laughs> with your post about the oil pulling. If you <laughs> if it's on catch, you need to rebroadcast it because it was. It was pretty compelling that uh, that it was gross, but that you uh, that you found some benefit from it. And next time, go get yourself some coconut oil. I promise you, olive oil is nasty. Coconut oil is great. Yesterday, uh, <laughs> yesterday uh, I did an oil pulling uh, lesson, and so uh, um, Church Girl went and tried it right after the post, and she. She had a good experience, but it freaked her out a little bit. So anyway, so let's get back on track here. Today, we're gonna talk about food labeling hacks. And I think most of us, if we're new to nutrition, and this happened to me certainly when I started really paying attention to what I was putting in my body, um, it, it, it was really scary. I go to the grocery store and it would take me three hours to get through the grocery store which used to take me like half an hour because I had to look at everything and I had to read all the labels and I had to educate myself. And so it was quite a process at the beginning learning how to um, learning how to eat healthy. So today I want to talk to you about um, sneaky ways. I, it's the only way I can put it. I don't like to be negative and I'm not going to be negative here. I'm not going to bash anything. And uh, but uh, ways that food companies market to you as the consumer to make you think that something is healthy or something is good for you or something is uh, maybe better for you than other things and so I'm gonna just talk a little bit about those today and then I'm gonna also show you uh, some healthy alternatives but first I want to start with a quick story and that was about an hour ago I was at a local grocery store and I was buying junk food <laughs> for the first time in like two and a half years and it was uh, almost a traumatic experience and I'm looking around, I wanted to wear big sunglasses and a hat and make sure that nobody noticed me as the go-to kitchens girl uh, right there <laughs> buying all this junk food that I wanted to demonstrate to you guys today. So uh, if you feel the love there, then uh, so it, it, was, it was quite an experience for me and kind of funny all at the same time. I got in the car and I, hey guys, welcome. Um, I got in the car and I took a picture to send to my mastermind who is also a wellness, uh, we're all wellness advocates and <laughs> I was like, look what I just had to do, it's kind of crazy. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I went and bought junk food for you guys. Um, so let's just jump right in uh, to, to uh, uh, decoding and to hacking labels and today we're talking about snacks. I'm not talking about uh, dinner food. I'm not talking about anything other than snacks and we're talking about drinks as well which I put into a snack category because they are calories that you're putting in your body that you don't necessarily need. So um, hey welcome. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, decoding. Thank you for inviting followers Evan. I appreciate that. If you guys don't know how to do that, you touch on the little person, the little symbol that has the little person. If you touch that or swipe left on an iOS or up and down on an Android device, it will say share to followers or share to Twitter. And um, hey Brent, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Welcome, welcome. Uh, and you can share it to other people. So, And you give hearts by tapping, uh, tapping the screen and that's how I know on vacation dang good for you um, so yes so let's get right into it and talk about labels so here's one of my favorite things not necessarily stay away from anything in a box or package but yes a general good a rule of thumb so um, so here's one of my favorite things that they do here's a snicker bar right 
All right, so they know, <laughs> they know that if you're buying a Snickers bar, that you probably know that you're not getting something healthy, right? Unless you're justifying it because it has nuts in it. Um, but you're probably not buying something healthy. But here's what they do. Look at this. They put this on there, this beautiful green label. And that beautiful green label, what does that mean to you? Green means what? Green means health. We have learned to associate, I have to, I, I like Snickers too, by the way, but I don't eat them anymore, but I do love Snickers. I used to love them too. They were one of my favorites. It was my, that and Three Musketeers was my go-to candy bar, but I don't, I don't touch them anymore. Hey girl, welcome. Um, so they put this green, sorry I'm outside till we get the airplane noise and everything. They put this green label on there, right? And you automatically go, if you don't know anything about health, you go, oh, well, even if you don't go, if, even if you don't think about it consciously, subconsciously, you associate green with good and red with bad. Green means go, red means stop, okay? So they are subliminally uh, messaging you with this green label saying that uh, that it, it, it could be okay to eat this candy bar. All right, so there's one thing that they do. It's not okay to eat a Snickers. <laughs> it's not okay. I'm gonna show you a healthy alternative to things like this, okay? You can eat chocolate. I eat chocolate every single day of my life. I love chocolate. It is is one of my favorite things on the planet besides my husband and my dog. Uh, I love chocolate in the beach. Well, okay, I won't go into the things that I like. So yes, dark chocolate. So you can eat chocolate, but you shouldn't eat a Snicker bar like this. All right, here's the other thing. This is what I love about this little prepackaged stuff. How many people think that <laughs> chocolate, that's right, we need a scope just on chocolate. How many th people think that if you're eating Nutella on your toast or in these little snack packets like this or something, that you're doing something good for your stuff, for your body? You are not. Nutella is not good for you. Just because it's made out of hazelnuts does not mean that it's good for you. They trick you into thinking that it's good for you because they put the word hazelnut and you go, oh, nut, oh, natural, oh, it's okay not okay. Nutella is not something, <laughs> Nutella equals bad. That's right. Um, <laughs> no, it's, I, I'm not returning it. I'm not that kind of person. I'm just going to like stick it in the trash and, uh, and not use it at all. So this is a little snack pack. I got it right when I was checking out at the grocery store. People are tempted to buy these. They think that they're good. I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers and I may, and I'm sorry, but it, it is the truth. Hey, Red Velvet, welcome. Um, I don't even want to give it to anybody in a food bank, Jennifer. <laughs> Ugh. Um, so Nutella is not good for you. It is not good for your kids. You should not doing it. be eating it. This little package right here has 23 grams of sugar. Sugar. And people think that this is good for them and good for their kids. They slather it on their kids' toast. They slather it everywhere. And they think because it came from Europe that it's good for you. It is not good for you, okay? Nutella is not good for you. Maybe I'll make an episode on making real hazelnut whip like this um, that is actually good for you and is a good food hack uh, at some point. But this little package right here is not good for you. It's not good for your kids. But they put it in this little convenient thing and they have done brilliant marketing somehow, somewhere because they put the word hazelnut and you think that it's good for you not good for you I had a hard time finding junk food because I don't buy it anymore so I had to like walk through the aisles I was in a little bit of a panic yeah you're welcome hi Mark um, that's as much yes as an eight ounce coke you're absolutely right <laughs> you're right hi Robin welcome Robin's my husband by the way so if he says cute things it's because he loves me and He's my husband. Um, so I was walking through there and I was thinking, what am I, you know, what, what, what am I going to, what am I going to buy? Cause I know I had to start looking at labels and I was doing it in reverse. Normally I'm looking at labels for bad things to not buy. And today I was looking at labels for bad things to buy. So here's another one. This one was appalling to me. This is a, this is something that they're marketing to your kids. All right. You can see right there, it has a kid on the back. It says, you know, gives kids lots of energy because it has some protein in it. This is a joke. 
All right, this is this is this is not true here. And again, I don't like to be negative, and these are just a few products that I found, but this is not true. And and if you're feeding your kids things like this, you need to rethink it. Um, and I'm going to show you some alternatives. But five grams of protein and seven grams of, of, of whole grain. This is another word that they use, whole grain. They use that a lot to make you think that you're getting something healthy. And I can't remember. Uh, this has 10 grams. You get 26 pieces. You get 10 grams of sugar, right? And you're getting 18 grams of carbohydrates in this to your five grams of protein. Don't feed your children this. Do not eat this kind of stuff, okay? This kind of stuff is not good for you. It is a, it's, it's basically, unfortunately for America and other parts of the world, this is kind of a lie. It's a marketing scam and they are scamming you. See the green label? They're scamming you again with convenience. They're telling you that it's convenient and then they are also telling you that it might be good for you, all right? And then they're getting you with this word, chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate, all right? Don't buy this kind of stuff. It's not good for you or your kids. Um, another thing that they like to do is this. Made with 100% real cheese, all right? <laughs> they love to do that. They love to say whole grain. They love to say real anything. If this is real or natural or um, anything like real and natural are the two words that they really like to use uh, in, in food labeling. If this is a this is a marketing technique as well, they are trying to get you to go, oh, well, it's real cheese, so it must be okay. Yes, they are, for sure. And then they say baked snack cracker, and you go, oh, well, it's baked and not fried, so it must be better than a potato chip. No, a potato chip is way better for you <laughs> than this is, especially a really high grade potato chip is way better for you than this is. This has, uh, this is going to have all kinds of uh, saturated fat in it. It has, um, it ha how many, it doesn't have any sugar in it, believe it or not. Um, but it has a lot of things that I cannot pronounce in the ingredients. And this is a manufactured food product. This is not real food. Okay, but they like to do this 100% real cheese. They love, love, love to do that. All right, that's another one. Now let's move on to drinks and what you want to. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have nothing on me. I love Cheez Its. I will tell you that anything in moderation, I do sneak a Cheez It now and again, like those little bitty packages, because my favorite thing when I was a kid was a Cheez It. This is terrible. I'm going to admit this. My favorite thing when I, no wonder I had cancer. Um, the, my favorite thing when I was a kid was a Cola Slurpee from 7 Eleven and Cheez Its. And I would dip the Cheez Its in the Cola <laughs> Slurpee. It's so gross, but it was like one of my favorite things. And honestly, I could go do it right now even though I know better um, I I like Cheez-Its and I like goldfish crackers too so anything in moderation but still just be super super careful I know it's gross right um, so here let's talk about tea tea in a can oh my goodness they love you to buy this kind of stuff this is called peace tea <laughs> I know, right? We all have a guilty pleasure. Yeah, we do for sure. Um, so this is called peace tea. So automatically, what do you do? You go, oh, well, that's really special packaging and, and it's peace. So it must be good for you. It must be holistic. It must be um, it must be, you know, uh, somebody with with your health in mind made it right. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. If you're buying teas in a can, you're not doing yourself any favor. If you're buying things that say like green tea, it's you're not doing yourself any favors. It is full of sugar, it's full of processed nonsense, um, and you're not getting the benefits of real green tea at all, at all. So don't think that you are, it's, it's not true. I won't go into the scientific reasons because I don't do that, but when they market to you like this, and they make it look like specialty, that's the new thing, is to make it look special, even with mainstream products, okay? Um, I don't know who this is made by, but a lot of times, this is just their own company, a lot of times these are made by like the Coca-Cola company or something like that, and they try to make it look like it's something proprietary and something special. Um, this particular can has 
oh, here's another thing that they like to do. See right there where it says 50 calories? I can't see it, but yeah, right there it says 50 calories. But look at the serving size. There's three servings in this. So you are getting um, 150 calories. You're not only getting 50 calories. And then it's 12 grams of sugar. 36 grams of sugar in this can of tea. Now granted, you get to drink a lot more than you would get out of a out of a Coke. A 16 ounce Coke would be, I think, I think it's like I think it's like 55 grams of sugar. You get a lot, you get some less sugar, but still you think you're doing something good for yourself and you're not. So let's just be super aware of things like that. And then this is one of my uh when I am coaching someone, one of the things that I have the hardest time getting them to realize that, that words on bottles and cans mean nothing. They do not mean anything about your health. They do not mean anything. You always have to look at the label. Look at the label. Look at the ingredients. And mostly stick to whole raw uh, organic foods and then you don't even have to worry about labels because an apple, this doesn't come with the label because all this is is apple. <laughs> that's all you're getting in there is apple so this is people are gonna hate me for this one and I'm really sorry I'm about to bust a bubble or two but here's one that is a lie and that is vitamin water yes you are getting some vitamins in this water that is that is true yes well I, I agree with that for the most part that's a little difficult in our in our current society but yes I agree for the most part you should try to stay away from things in boxes or cans um, vitamin water uh, about three years ago just spiked through the roof because people had the illusion that it said vitamin on it that it was yeah. all right see you see you soon bye bye um, vitamin water was good for you because it had the word vitamin on it it is not true. This bottle right here has 32 grams of sugar. The second ingredient in this is crystalline fructose, cane sugar, um, and it has less than 0.5% of vitamin C in it. Really? Really? They're faking you out, people. Look at the labels, read the labels, because those, well, some of those even lie and don't tell you what's in there. You see this red that's in this? this red uh, food coloring thing that's in this, and I can't be for sure, but I bet you that that is a food coloring. Actually, no, they use, um, they use beta carotene on this one. A lot of times that red color in there uh, will give you, um, I can't remember what the numbers are. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was brilliant. It, I mean, you have to applaud the effort. It was absolutely brilliant, but it is not good for you, and don't be scammed by it. A lot of times red food coloring or things to make things red is made from a beetle that they crush. <laughs> I know, it's gross. They use bugs that they crush and process to get that red food coloring so that they can say natural red dye or natural red color or natural red ingredient. And it's and it, you're eating a bug, okay? So, and I can tell, if you go to my website or go to Facebook, I'll tell you what that exact chemical is, but I can't think of it right now. And the other things that they put in other red dyes that are chemically uh, manufactured, those actually cause things like ADHD and um, they can cause, uh, they can cause kids to be diabetic and just, I mean, really people, things that have food coloring in them, stay away from them. So let's talk about the things that are actually good for you. And I'm going to zoom through these really quick. Um, things that don't have an ingredient list. There's no ingredient list for this. This apple is just an apple. And when you eat it, you're just getting an apple. In fact, this one's organic. Uh, so I am really literally just getting an apple. I'm not getting anything else. There's no, you don't see any packaging, nothing there. It's just a beautiful Fuji apple, all right? Apples are great for you. You know the old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And the reason they say that is because you should be eating fruit every day, all right? All right, an apple. Let's talk about some stuff that's actually going to come in a package. Let's go right to the good stuff. We started with chocolate, so let's start with chocolate here. See that right there? That is a dark chocolate covered almond. 
This is a great snack idea, all right? You're getting an almond, you're getting the benefits from dark chocolate. Um, again, I won't go into why that is, why they're good for you. You can read about that, you can Google it, benefits of dark chocolate. Um, yes, so dark chocolate covered nuts. Uh, I would stick with almonds or walnuts uh, in my personal opinion, all right? Great little snack for you. These are something that I almost eat every single day, all right? Um, another thing is, is this week I'm going to teach you how to make Rockstar Trail Mix. There's actually chocolate in that too. You can see it right there, little pieces of chocolate. This has coconut and pumpkin seeds and all kinds of nuts. This is a super great uh, bend between the salty and the sweet. There's no salt in here, but you get that nut, you get that crunchy uh, texture that we all crave. A lot of us crave crunchy foods. Yeah, so go to gotokitchens.com uh, later this week. I will actually have that post up. Uh, and if you're a VIP, you can see it first and you can do that right from the website. And the website is in the title of this particular scope. Uh, so you see that it's got all kinds of really good stuff. It's got dates in it. It's got almonds. It's got coconut. It's got a little bit of chocolate. It's got a little bit of pumpkin seed. And I don't know if you know, but the pumpkin seed is good for the libido. Eat your pumpkin seeds. No joke. Um, if I was going to eat something prepackaged, let's say I'm on the road and I need to grab, I want a snack, right? And the temptation is Cheez-Its because that's what's in the convenience store. I would tend to go for more things like, this is a giant bag of this because we eat this, uh, but this is a giant bag. You can buy this huge bag at Sam's. This is called Skinny Pop. The only ingredients in Skinny Pop is popcorn, sunflower, oil, and salt. It has four ingredients. They're right there on the label. And that's all you get. It's GMO free. I don't know about guilt free. That's kind of a that's kind of a fake out. Uh, it's gluten free. It's 39 calories per cup. I believe that it is. I'm sorry. Um, about three and three quarters cup is a serving size. All right. Yeah, you're getting some good fat in there, um, and it's a great little go-to snack if you just need something crunchy and salty. It's called Skinny Pop. You can buy it at Sam's. You can buy it at uh, Costco, you can buy it a lot of places. So, um, let's talk about drinks. What are some healthy drinks? And you know, if you make your own kale chips, I will say that if you're eating healthier, it does take some preparation. You can't just run into, you can't just run into 7-Eleven and grab your kids one of these. You need to have that snack already in the car for them, right? And it saves you time because you don't have to go into 7-Eleven. So you just have it right there in your car and between errands or between things, you have a snack that's like this for them that they're getting something wholesome that's gonna give them energy, that's gonna give them brain power. So yes, so this kind of thing. So let's talk about drinks really quickly. Um, I, I, drink, I drink a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> Bye, see you Mark, thanks for coming in. Um, I, I have a hard time with drinks because um, I like sweet tea. I'm from Texas. And I like sweet tea and I like it with real sugar. I don't like it with stevia. And so I recently was getting over a virus and my doctor, my medical doctor actually told me, don't drink sweet tea. You, you gotta cut all the sugar. And I was like, well, I like sweet tea. And she said no. And so I had to cut it. So I needed to start finding th things that I like to drink. So I started making some flavored waters for myself with real fruit and real berries um, and real herbs. And I love it. Um, and then I also, I also have something like this. Sorry, I need to close a notification there. I have something like this. This is easily found in Whole Foods, in Sprouts, in any specialty grocery store. You're not gonna find it like 7-Eleven, but one day you will, I swear you will find this sort of stuff one day soon. This is a probiotic drink. It has the fizz, it has the taste. It, I can drink the whole thing. Yeah, it's good stuff, right? Um, I can drink the whole thing. Um, it has, it has two grams of sugar. That's all I'm getting, and it's all from natural. Um, it, they have all kinds of flavors, and I just take these and put these in my car. They do. This is a probiotic drink, so it has probiotics in it, which means that it, it live probiotics, which means that it needs to stay refrigerated. Um, but this is a great drink, and you can look up uh, kombucha. Google kombucha. Dang, I don't know how to spell it. Evan, can you spell? Or if you're still here, can you spell out kombucha for everyone? Um, 
or Jennifer, either one of you, that would be great, kombucha. Uh, but you can look for kombucha. It's also a pri probiotic drink, and you can get the benefits of a probiotic. You get the healthy benefits from hydrating your body, um, and, and, and there's you know other uh, things in here like fruit juices and stuff that would actually be good for you. If you're going to, a lot of you may drink those Starbucks drinks you can pre-buy or you drink Starbucks in general. Um, so here's, I didn't buy one of those, but here's a good hack for that. This is a Bok tea. It's a Bok tea chai. All right. This is a really great drink. It actually has a lot of sugar in it. There are 13 grams of sugar in this particular bottle. I never drink a whole bottle. You can see it's pretty big. I think it's like it's 16 ounces and it's pretty rich to drink a whole bottle but this is a great alternative <laughs> this is a great alternative uh, to having um, to having one of those Starbucks drinks or something like that you can buy this also in specialty they have different flavors but this is this is really good when I'm craving I don't drink coffee but every once in a while I want something with a little spice and a little kind of milky flavor and that's what I do um, so to wrap up here don't be fooled by food labeling um, it is it's tricky and they'll get you and they do it in all kinds of ways they do it in all kinds of snacks they do it in all kinds of packaged foods just be very careful when you're selecting things okay um, sometimes they say natural uh, that is not necessarily mean that it's good for you they may say real that may not that not is necessarily good for you so just be aware of those kinds of and if it has a green label it doesn't mean that it's necessarily good for you if they tout something like protein or or whole grains or something like that they're hiding something else so just be super aware of it and read your labels if you're buying things in packages so there you go, there's your, there's your label hacking uh, right here. And my name is Leslie and I have a website called GoTo Kitchens. It's in the title of this particular scope, so you can go there. If you become a VIP, you get a special Facebook page where I talk to my, uh, my people directly. You get a, um, you get a, uh, a free book called, uh, I'm just gonna go blank I guess here. <laughs> <laughs> fall in love with your kitchen and yourself you can also email me directly from that website so if you go there and you have questions you can find our Facebook our Twitter all the social media in the world right there on gotokitchens.com and um, and I look forward to seeing you guys there thanks so much for being here with me today I'm here every day noon Mountain Standard Time that's 11 Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern I'm pointing in the directions that those are um, and I'm here every weekday thank you so much for coming and you guys have an amazing afternoon and stay healthy bye thanks for the hearts everybody